Now you've heard me talk about this before, okay? And and while I think that there are people saying a couple of different things, when you hear the term superhero fatigue, you hear uh, maybe one person is using it in one way, another is using it in a different one. And I've rejected the term mainly because um, I say it's dog shit fatigue. If there is to be a fatigue, that's where it's at. It's not in uh, the actual genre. And I think more proof of it is, as you see, that box offices in general are just not in a good spot. Let me go here real quick. Yes, Madam Webb is, uh, that, that, that was dead on arrival. And uh, over this uh, past weekend, it even looks like Bob Marley's biopic is going to beat it. But look at this. And I'm reading this directly from Variety. Given the budget of each film, Bob Marley costs 70 million and Madam Webb costs 80 million, uh, not including marketing. So, you know, both of those films, they, they're spending over $100 million on them. Nonetheless, I'm actually surprised they, um, Madam Webb was able to keep it relatively low. And I mean relatively low. What I mean by that is comp in comparison, <laughs> for comparison's sake, to other superhero films. Um, says uh, those aren't especially encouraging estimates. Even worse, those anemic figures span six days. Not the traditional three-day weekend. So that's Madam Webb looking to get 22 to 25 million while Bob Marlowe was looking to get 30 to 35 million. So there's all sluggish all around. And, and really we we've seen this be, uh, this is present and it's been this way for a while. Sure. You have your outliers. You got your Oppenheimers, you got your, your, your Barbies and, and, and your, your Godzilla's and you have these movies that will perform relatively well. But what we've seen is just really a general, decline not just in um obviously the numbers are going to be showing that but th there's a decline in, in just enthusiasm in general i think for really anything that hollywood is putting out uh, people are not itching uh to get you know in, in in movie theaters and and to go watch these films and i think this is something that we saw get accelerated especially with the covid sting uh, during that during that time and era, and I remember people would talk about it like, well, there's going to be this big massive uh, bounce back, and I'm like, man, maybe what it did was just uncover the inevitable, or ex it accelerated. It got you to the conclusion that you were going to reach, regardless. It just got you there a little quicker due to these, uh, um, let's say, <laughs> circumstances, set of circumstances. I, like I said, I knew Madam Webb was dead, dead on arrival. We all knew that it was dead on arrival. But Hollywood has this, um, uh, the reason why I say the, the focusing so much on the genre, I think is a misstep. It's because we're seeing it in other genres. It's a Hollywood thing. And maybe Hollywood fatigue is uh, more accurate. We, we see the losses. We see the the duds that get laid. We see how much money they're not making. Uh, they tried this whole streaming thing, and we're seeing the money that they're not making in streaming. And that, I don't have necessarily an answer for, is like, how do they turn that around? I mean, you look at what's coming, uh, at least in that superhero realm, some people are talking about this Deadpool thing, and is it going to save Marvel? And I think the answer to that is no. And that doesn't mean that it won't be a relatively uh, decently performing movie. But in order to save it, then that means that people are going to be looking forward to it in the future and everything that they have coming. I just don't see that happening. And the, I'm tapped more into the comic book stuff because that's you know what it is that I do. But then I think like, well, the same thing can probably be said about every every genre. Yeah, you're going to have these these outliers, but Hollywood not only has a spending issue, but more importantly, just like the comic book industry, they have a an enthusiasm problem. Is it people again are starting to trend more to games than they are with movies and, or is it just that, you know, it sucks. It just sucks. It's just not, not really any good. It's, it's, it's maybe well produced. They spent a lot of money on it, but it's, it's just not, 
it's it's just not it's not it. And that's a problem that they have to figure out. Um, I don't think they can. Like I said in previous video, it's going to be an independent thing. If there is going to be money made in this like uh, industry, like profitable, I don't want to say money made, but prof legitimately profitable, because of course corporate entities can can these big ones they can they can take those losses. I just don't see that coming from the mainstream guys, the mega corporate guys. I just don't I don't see that happening, and historically we've looked at like the health of a given industry that is measured by how well the major players are and maybe that's what's changing now maybe that's what it is that we're seeing right now is that the major players don't matter not as much um it's it's going to look a lot different the future of entertainment is going to look a lot different in general and hollywood is going to have to go through its changes just like the comic book industry is going through its changes right now as well Thanks for watching. Be sure to head over to Ripperverse.com to check out our comic book company. We have books, plenty of merchandise, and even some glorious animations from Ripperverse Studios. Next up, possibly our most anticipated book thus far, Yaira.